So I'm about to slam the shit out of going to theater school right after high school. And I just want to preface it by saying I had a good experience in theater school and I learned a lot of stuff, but I basically missed out on a huge portion of what could have been a very marketable time in my career, which is kind of what this video is about. It's kind of like marketing versus training and when you should focus on training and when you should focus on marketing. And basically the point that I'm going to try to drive home to you is this. Don't train when you're 18 and 19 years old. Train when you're 21, 22, 23. And I'm gonna get into that in a second. So here's a little bit of information that I learned about Los Angeles being here for a couple months. They don't cast 15, 16, and 17 year olds to play 15 and 16 and 17 year olds. They cast people who are 18 or 19. The reason for that is, is because the studios, there's like child labor laws and stuff like that. So if they cast a 15, 16 or 17 year old to play a 15, 16 or 17 year old, they need to legally have that person in school at the studio. So they have to pay a teacher and in school for three hours. So they have to pay a teacher and they have to, um, they can't have them working for three hours of the day where they have to be in school. It's a big pain in the ass. So they just hire 18 year olds who look 15, 16, and 17 year olds, and you see it a lot. Like if you go on LA Casting or Actors Access, those are some of the big casting websites, they'll say casting 18 to look younger. And that's because they don't wanna deal with all those child labor laws and stuff like that. So here's the deal. If you go to theater school when you're right out of high school, 18 or 19 years old, you are going to be missing out on the 18 to look younger part of your career which is extremely lucrative. Now, basically every age group demographic in Los Angeles, in this industry in general, is completely oversaturated. The only one that may not be oversaturated and just saturated is the 18 to look younger. The reason for that is everybody who's 18 and 19 years old just graduated high school and is off at some East Coast theater school or they're not in the industry at all. Very few actual 18, 19 year olds want to pursue acting and head straight to LA right after graduating high school, which is what I'm going to implore you to do. Here is a true story about somebody who I went to college with. This kid was one of my better friends my freshman year. His name was Duke for anonymity, but you can probably look him up after what I'm gonna tell you. He dropped out of college his freshman year he went straight to Los Angeles, he booked a Lil Wayne music video, then he booked a Coen Brothers film, and now he is doing some Ben Stiller Netflix thing. So the reason why I bring up that story is because you might be thinking, oh, well, maybe I'm not as good an actor or uh, I don't know anything about the business. <laughs> Nobody does at 18 years old. Everybody's just been in their high school programs. Nobody knows about booking work in Los Angeles or anything like that. Nobody who's 18 or 19 does anyway. You're gonna be competing with everybody who has the same level of skills as you and the industry is going to be very forgiving to you because you don't know that stuff yet and they don't assume you to know all that stuff yet. You might be thinking, oh, well, if I'm, if I'm not getting better at acting, then I'm gonna be behind everybody, but you're not gonna be behind it at everybody because you're still going to be learning while you're there. And I'm not saying to not go to theater school at all or acting school. I'm just saying don't do it when you're 18 or 19 years old because you're going to be missing out on a huge part of your career. Either way, if you decide that, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to train at some point. I want to be an actor, which I think is commendable. I think if you want to pursue this career, you should dedicate at least a few years of your life to be in a rigorous program or at, at least some, put yourself in some kind of rigorous program um, personally or put yourself into an actual conservatory or something like that. It's important to the career, to your, to your goals and getting better as an artist. But don't do that when you're 18 or 19. Do it when you're 21, 22, when you can no longer book that work. Basically what I'm saying is, if you're gonna miss four years of time working in Los Angeles, you're better to miss the 21, 22, 23, 24 than missing 18, 19, 20, 21 because this is the time when the market isn't overly saturated with other actors. Basically, everybody and their freaking mother 
when they're 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 years old are are fresh out of college. They're still passionate about it. It's the market is extremely oversaturated. That time is probably going to be the hardest part in your career. You're going to be fresh. You're going to be out of school. You're going to be hungry and you're going to be in a lot of competition of people who have no acting ability, who are booking more work than you because they were there when they're 18, and people who have maybe better acting ability than you, who maybe are booking work, maybe not. And you're going to be somewhere in the middle, and you're going to be wondering, shit, am I even doing this right? You're better off just coming here when you're 18 or 19 and getting a little bit of business experience. And another reason for that is, is because when you finally do go to theater school, when you're 23, 24, 224 whatever you are going to have valuable information to your classmates and you're going to be able to serve a very valuable niche in your class community because you're going to be the person who knows a little bit about the business and basically in theater school or acting school you're going to become a better actor that's basically what you're there for business is secondary to that. They are going to be spending 95% of the time teaching you how to walk, how to speak, how to breathe, how to interpret text, learning about text, history. They're not going to be spending gear. They're not going to be spending much of the, your four years at theater school teaching you about Los Angeles and how to book work and how to make your LA casting profile good and who's a casting director and what's the difference between an agent and a man. Like That's not really what you're going to be learning at all. So when you come to school, you're going to be able to provide some of that information to your classmates and everybody is going to want to network with you, which is one of the reasons why you go to acting school or theater school is to build a network. And building a network, it's all about providing value to people. If you, if somebody can provide value to me, for example, I'm learning Japanese right now and I was doing some background work and I met this guy and he was speaking Japanese. That guy can provide value to me because I can practice Japanese with him and I can provide value to him because I also am interested in Japanese. We networked, we exchanged numbers and possibly we're going to work on some project in Japanese together. I don't know. That's a true story, but that project thing, I don't know if that's going to happen. But I'm just saying that's how it works. If you're going to be providing value to your classmates and in turn, they're going to want to network with you. You're going to leave college with a very strong network, the same acting skills as everybody else and two years of business of, um, of career development because you went when you were 18 and 19. They're going to have to make up those two years of business development on the tail end of their training, which is when they're going to be 22, 23, 24 years old and the market's going to be overly saturated. See what I'm saying? There's a right time to train is what I'm getting at. There's also a very short window of time when you're 18 and 19 that is a very important part business-wise. So do the business part and then train instead of training missing these two years in here and then trying to make up for it now when everybody else is trying to do the same thing. Whew. And maybe when you're working in LA as a young businesswoman, your career will take off and you can entirely forgo going to college whatsoever and you won't be starting your mid-20s with $30,000 in debt and living in your car. Look, I love you. I just don't want you to make the same mistakes that I made. That's all. So let me know how it works out for you. Or you can tell me in the comments how every successful person in the world went to college after they were 18 years old and that anybody who doesn't is a fucking loser and will never amount to anything. Thanks so much. If you like this content, please subscribe, leave a comment or like it or something. I don't care. Share it with your friends if you think they're going to theater school too, or if they think they are. Maybe you guys can go and get a shitty apartment near USC and you can start your careers in LA. If you do, hit me up. Maybe we can work on a project together. I swear.